Hello, my name is Üstün. So one thing most people, especially beginners, find hard is to use other things while uh, using Emacs. So I thought building a package to do that transition easier would be uh, helpful. So for example, I open this file, but say I want to open this in Sublime, right? For some reason, especially if I'm used to Sublime. So I have, I can type your Sublime file and open the same file in Sublime immediately. Now I can type, for example, your mail file, and that file is automatically attached. And I can similarly do your Chrome file, and that file will open in Chrome. So this is very helpful when you are doing HTML development, etc. And you can say, so you can do your finder directory, so you can open either the current directory or the current file. So you can say finder directory, and it will, it will open the current files directory in Finder, okay? So the package I wrote for this is called Emacs Friends. So the idea is Emacs, so you don't use Emacs in isolation, you use it with your friends. And in my case, I'm using OS X, but there's no reason this couldn't work on Linux or some reason. So here first I list in an association list the file, the the section of the command, for example, sublime, and the real application name that Mac understands. So, for example, if you are on Linux, you would do sublime and do the full path. So, so if Mac just sees, you know, Finder or whatever, it knows everything. So, actually, these are Mac application names. Okay. So, if you go to applications... Uh, Sorry, I, don't, I don't know anything about Macs. So yeah, th these are application okay. names, but on Linux, you just yeah. Hard code the full sure, path, sure. full path to the binary. Okay, so first I I I bring this list. Okay, and then I automatically generate Emacs command functions based on this list. So this is so oh, I basically do here a lambda, and I give it a name, and then I intern that function so that it has a real name. So uh, this is one technique I used to generate automatic uh, Emacs commands. So the moment I do that, and then I go over that list to generate all those commands, and boom, I have a bunch of different things with which I can open the current file, like your Vim file, <coughs> I open the current file in Vim automatically. And for example, if you, if you open this in, so this is something Mac does, but ma if you mail a directory, it automatically zips it and attaches it. So, so I think this could be useful as for beginners and for also advanced users as well. Like for example, if I open a, an HTML file here, right, and I, I say h5p uh, and then something like this and I say Chrome and since I'm using Helm, uh, I can just type chr and it, I don't even have to remember the name. And, it automatically opens the same file in Chrome. So this is very useful. For example, I use this, especially I, when I encounter a new project or something I downloaded from GitHub, sometimes uh, opening it in Sublime is a bit better because it's a bit smoother in smooth scrolling. So I just open in Sublime or IntelliJ or whatever and then I return to Emacs when I want to do the hard code, hard work. So this is called Emacs Friends. Uh, it is available not as a package at the moment. I didn't package it, but uh, it's at my... Do you have any intention of uh, putting it onto Malware or anything like that? Yeah, I could. So when I first did this, mm -hmm. I announced it on the Emacs IRC channel and everyone said it was a very awful idea. Why would you do that? <laughs> So I was a bit put off by you that. I don't know. Why would you leave Emacs? They said. <laughs> like, why would you use Sublime? But I said, okay, we are all friends here. Like, you can even use Vim for small things, and then you can. You, yeah, and I think it's a nice example of automatically generated functions. Like, I didn't use macros. I I used that intern function, but. But I think it's useful. That was great. So, okay. yeah. 
Yeah, thank you. So that's it. Anybody else have any other talks before I go and do that? No? Alright. By the way, also, if you don't use ham, take a look at it. Like, most people here are probably already using it, but it's very good. Yes, I need to use more ham. <laughs>